Construction work continues on a project to locate a primary physician's office inside a public school. The work is taking place at Wayne School on Erie's east side. It's a project that has never been done before in Pennsylvania. John last paid a visit to that site today. So John, what's so special about it? Well, this is part of Erie's war on poverty. It's usually poor inner city residents who do not have a primary care physician. Now, this project brings a physician's office to a neighborhood with a high poverty rate, and the office will be located in a very familiar place. Now, Wayne School, like any other school, is in the heart of its neighborhood. It has easy access, and everyone knows where it is. That's why UPMC Hammett and other organizations who are battling the poverty issue believe Wayne School will be the perfect place for a primary physician's office. Now, people living in poverty usually do not have a physician and instead go to the emergency room for health care. It creates a log jam in the emergency room, and usually the patient doesn't get the follow-up treatment that he or she may need. Now, when this office opens, Dr. Christy Chandler will be the physician that will make sure that neighborhood residents get the proper care. What we're able to do is make sure that these families who live in this community, the kids who go to the school, have a primary care physician. Not a clinic that they can go to and see a physician once in a while, but have a doctor. Dr. Chandler will be their physician. And that's going to be very unique to this population in that they don't have a primary care physician right now. Now, the Erie School District is excited about the project because it knows that kids who have the proper health care have better academic performance, better attendance, and better self-image. Now, the office will be open in mid-August, just before the start of the next school year. And John, uh, who's paying for all this? Well, the project received uh, $470,000 in federal funds to get started, and funds to keep the project going uh, come from the Erie Community Foundation and the Hammett Health Foundation. All right, John Last reporting. Thank you, John.